guys, what's going on? Okay, so here we go. This is our little uh, pre-range show or pre-game show, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll be taking the Sig Sauer P220 to the range. We're going to be running some 230 grain full metal jacket, uh, Federal Champion brass ammo through it. Now, I've only got two magazines, uh, which means I'm limited to basically 8 plus 1 or more or less 8 rounds. Uh, we're going to put four rounds through eight or nine different targets. We're going to start off at five feet and then we'll go to 10 feet. And after that, we're going to go in 10 foot increments all the way out to 80 or 90 feet. I always take my uh, tape measure with me to make sure I'm shooting from the right distances. Sometimes my range has the uh, yardage marked and sometimes it doesn't. It depends on uh, the tactical classes and the pistol classes that are out there before me. Um, so if they don't, we'll make sure that the distances are accurate. But yeah, we're going to take it out. The reason why I'm doing this today is because it's very windy outside. There is a possibility I'll have to dub over the footage of me uh, shooting and me talking uh, with a voice track just because it, it could get annoying. But again, it's really not that cold out. It's just winds are blowing 25, 30 miles an hour. So I just want to make sure you guys can enjoy the video. We're going to see what kind of, uh, um, what kind of accuracy you can get out of a box stock. PT P220, for the most part, I mean, we do have the adjustable side on the rear, and uh, we may need to make some adjustments on that if possible, but uh, we'll see how she does. So, yeah, I am excited to get it out there. It's a nice sunny day today, and we'll see if we can make a little progress and uh, put this P through P220 through the ringer, and then we'll shoot some iron. So, there you go, guys. I want to thank you for watching, and let's go ahead and roll that footage. All right, we're going to start off with 5 feet and then 10 feet, uh, two groups of four. Let's get started. Pretty good group, I can live with that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take it out to 20 feet and 30 feet. We're really gonna get out there today. to 30 feet, this thing is a tack driver. Okay, up next, we're gonna go ahead and take it out to 40 and then 50 feet. If the camera should happen to turn off unexpectedly, then you know that we had an issue and a bullet went the way it wasn't supposed to go. So, 40 feet and then 50 feet. Stay tuned. 40 feet and then 50 feet, four shot group. gonna go 60 feet and then 70 feet we are definitely getting out there right now guys all right here we go 60 feet and then 70 feet
might be hitting that uh, maximum efficient range there. I had two shots laying on target at 60 feet, 70 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, eight rounds at 80 feet. I don't know if I'm gonna hit anything. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to, it seems like we're, we were going a little high there and then I went ahead and pulled down on it just a little bit. So again, I don't feel bad about it. 60 feet, 70 feet with a 45 and I'm not exactly trained military. Uh, that can definitely be a challenge, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that uh, 80 foot test. Okay, I also want to remind everybody at this point, I'm gonna be shooting from 80 feet away, which uh, exceeds the usual firing line that we normally take here, but uh, there is nobody here at the range. It is completely clear, it's just me. So it's safe for me to take this longer shot. Just want you to know that. All right, 80 feet, let's see if we can hit anything at all. All right, I'm a little worried. I got a camera sitting up on top filming me as I do uh, these shots from a distance, the second camera. I just hope that camera's still there when I get done. Uh, good to know that with an eight round magazine I can land something on target. I think on 60 and 70 I was just trying to learn that point of aim. I was actually shooting a little bit uh, high so I pulled down on the nose a little bit. My front sight post was actually right here and it was hitting around here the last four rounds just so you know. So that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I can live with that. All right let's go play around with some steel. Okay, we're gonna take a few shots on the uh, pins. I've got eight rounds. Uh, if I happen to get through all five, we're gonna go ahead and move on over to the hostage target off to the left. So we're gonna be taking these shots about 20 feet. All right, here we go. target. Thank <laughs> you. 
has been flawless so far. We're gonna go ahead and do the little uh, spinning pinwheel over here on the left-hand side, and then I think we'll call it good. All right, hang in there. Okay, guys, we're gonna go and get the little spinning pinwheel thingy going here, and I'm gonna try to shoot it like waist level. It's easy to shoot them as they're going across the bottom, but I'm gonna try to shoot waist level and just see what I can do. So far, the six been flawless. All right, about uh, uh, 15 feet out. I'm really enjoying this P220. This thing is amazing. It's awesome. Just awesome. All right, let's uh, shift on over here. I've got seven rounds left. We'll go ahead and work on the stock here for a minute. All right. Let's go. And now let's go. Let's go 20 feet. 20 feet. We're gonna take it out just a little bit. All right. Here we go. All right, guys, that wraps it up for our trip to the range today. We just took the SIG P220 out. My thanks to Stan over at SS Pond. Uh, without him, this uh, review would not be possible. I love that SIG. We ran 100 rounds through it. Had no issues whatsoever. It was smooth. The trigger is crisp on it. It's the recoil is completely manageable. You know, you get a little bit of buck because it is a 45, but you know that it pretty much is right on target. Um, if I had any criticism, I'd say the iron sights are just a little bit hard to see because they're matte, kind of a matte finish. You know, there's no contrast on the front and the rear, but they work. I mean, I made them work with no problems. And Stan had mentioned maybe painting the uh, the front stock. Um, I'm gonna let him do that if he wants to. You know, but still, uh, P220, great gun. All right. Uh, go out and check it out. Again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please like or subscribe if you're just uh, checking out the video for the first time. I did go ahead and put my videos in playlists now, which should make it a little bit easier for you to find uh, whatever topic you're interested in. So browse the playlist and see if anything interests you and go ahead and watch the uh, season of videos I uploaded for each playlist practically. We're over 200 videos now, guys. Um, again, once we hit a thousand subs, we're going to go ahead and give away a really cool prize and uh, we're getting there. We're making some progress. I'm very happy. Again, check me out over on Twitter and Instagram and uh, I think that's about it. So I want you guys to have fun this weekend. I want you to be safe. Get out, do some shooting, uh, take somebody that you know shooting, uh, take them out for the first time. And as always, guys, uh, have fun, be safe, and we will talk to you soon. All right, goodbye.